Hi guys, uh, and welcome back. This is another Saga Battle Report. Um, this time it's from Corfe Castle, um, an event I've recently been to as a reenactor, and we even managed to get him, get a game in of Saga there. So it's the Anglo Saxons versus the Yomsvike. Also, at the end of this video, I've got some extra photos of um, guys in um, in their reenactment gear, so you can have a look at some Dark Age um, kit, and I'll chat more about it then. All right, guys, cheers. Um, the scenario we're playing is the one where um, one of the teams defend three buildings. Uh, we're playing on a two foot by four foot table because that's what I carry in my van. Um, I, we both bid four points to be the defender. Uh, I won the roll off in the end, which I thought was great until I realised that in small buildings, maximum of eight um, models can be in there, so that goes all my Anglo-Saxon bonuses. Um, also you'll notice on this setup I've got a massive unit down to the left hand side and a four point bodyguard around my warlord um, I'm closest here. Um, they vanish later on pretty quick because that's my six point force <laughs> um, obviously I only had four points so they went. Uh, just a close up of some of my warriors in one of the buildings here uh, these are from Grand Man of the buildings and if the colour is a bit unusual it's because um, I'm actually taking these pictures in an inside a tent so the Yomsvike had um, two units of warriors, uh, one uh, they combined into a unit of 12 and a unit of 4 and the rest spent on Hearthguard, um, two units of 4, one unit of 8 and in mine, uh, ignore the four bodyguards, I've got three units of 8 warriors uh, two in the buildings, and one unit of levy on the far side there and that's how it starts with my opponent moving up so my opponent just moved forward in his turn um, and in my turn uh, I didn't do a lot either, I just got my defensive abilities up. Uh, I got a shot off here with my levy, managed to kill off two warriors. And on the left, I managed to move my warriors up into the tower, and I hid my warlord in behind the tower as well. My opponent just moves up, trying to make some ground. Uh, I think he plays Northern Temper this turn, in which case, quick look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, yeah, I lose one, one, I take one warrior from each of my two units in the buildings there, and then one for my levy as well. So I go for another easy shot with my uh, levy, killing off another two. And that's all I did, so at the beginning of my opponent's turn it's looking like this. He throws his warrior unit into my uh, levy and with some unbelievable dice rolls of the gods my levy only loses one model and he loses two of him and that's with me only rolling four dice while he rolls eight I think, eight there so I was in luck there and I managed to defeat them off he then throws a four man hearthguard unit against my warriors in the rightmost building um, again I'll take no casualties um, I think I'm going defensive here, so I'm, I'm losing half my attack dice to gain some extra defense dice. Um, yeah, so I was lucky to get one through and kill off one of his. He throws his four-man Danax unit against my warriors in the tower. Um, we kill one for one. Again, I play defensively. I lose half my attack dice um, to gain the extra defense dice because I'm stopping it on fours because I'm in buildings and that. So I'm doing pretty well holding up so far. Um, I then get charged by his large hearthguard unit um, to my centre building and again I went defensively but it didn't work out quite so well for me this turn uh, he loses two which wasn't again bad as I only had four attacks against him uh, but I lose six of my seven so I've got one guy left there so knowing that my opponent chucks um, his warlord in because he can't be killed I've only got one attack can't just get the two to get him to try and kill off the last guy in here and he was quickly cut down and chucked into the fire. Uh, so that's one building cleared um, with the warlord in there. So at the beginning of my turn, um, it's looking like this. He moved his warlord back out. I don't know why he did this, unless it was to get within two inches of those um, hearth guard there, which I think he was within two inches of three. So he wasn't going to be an easy kill. But if I can kill him now, the game's mine, and I can see a way I can do this if I can just chase off those hearth guard. So. In goes my warlord, running around the building into them. Um, I rested him first, then charged in. He hasn't got that many guys within two inches of him, but I think I had um, the Brett Walder up anyway, making meaning I'm a six in combat armor, uh, and I think it's reroll defense dice as well. So 
so I have a good chance of beating these guys off. And again, he manages to kill one uh, with no, no damage to himself, uh, so the other guys are pushed back. And this leaves me an opening now to his warlord with no support. Um, I'm really liking this Brett Wilder ability. I'm very tempted now to have a mounted um, warlord in, in this force because he can really uh, make the difference when I need him to. So yes, my my lowly warriors charge out the building next to him um, and engage their warlord, completely surrounding him with no help. So yep, I managed to kill him, and that take, gives me the game. We only lost the two warriors there. Uh, it was a bit unfortunate for my opponent. He didn't think about that. Um, he was concentrating too much on trying to get rid of my guys and buildings. Um, but yep, loss of your warlord ends the game if you're an attacker. So that won me the game. Another victory to the Anglo-Saxons. So again, thanks for watching. Hope it interested you. Uh, it's a bit of a different game. Playing on a small table, it doesn't seem to be too much of a hassle. I'm just going to leave you now with some pictures of the reenactors, as I said before. Uh, I might have a few comments to say, I don't know yet. Um, at least you have some idea of uniforms and stuff. You'll see in the battle scenes they work, there's a lot of helmets and gloves. Obviously the gloves aren't authentic, neither are the helmets, but it's all for health and safety. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Take care. That well us.